please ignore how weird this looks. Looks like you. Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Janelle, and I make all sorts of crafty projects. So, the project that I'm going to be working on today is three different stuffed crocheted toys made from one basic pattern. This is a super beginner friendly project, so if you want to follow along, grab a crochet hook and let's go! For supplies for this project, all you're going to need is a crochet hook, and I'm using a 4 millimeter hook, which is the equivalent of a US size F, some worsted weight yarn in the color of your choice, and if you're unsure about the yarn weight, worsted is a four. So if you look on the back of the label, there will be a little symbol with a number four and it says medium. A pair of scissors. And then you're gonna need something to use for eyes. And I'm using safety eyes, but if you don't have those, you can either stitch on buttons or just embroider the details on at the end. So the techniques that I'm going to be using for this project are magic circle, single crochet, increase, and decrease. And if you're not sure about how to do any of those things, I'll show you along the way how they're done. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be doing three different toys using one pattern. So the first thing that I'm going to be making is a pig. So I've got my pink yarn here, so we'll start with that. We're going to be starting with the body, and that's the part that is going to be the same between all three of our animals. So to start off with, I'm going to be making a magic circle. So to do that, you take your yarn and you fold the end of it behind to make a loop. So then what I usually do is I'll just do a slip stitch to hold it in place. So I'll put my crochet hook through the loop, grab the working end of your yarn and pull it through, wrap the yarn around the back of your crochet hook, pull that through, and then pull it tight. So from here we're going to do six single crochet. So you go through the loop, come up around and grab the working end of your yarn and pull it through, wrap the yarn around the back of your crochet hook and pull that through both of the loops. And that's your first single crochet. So we're going to do six of those. a little smoother at this. I'm trying to do this through the screen on my phone. So at this point you're going to take the tail end of your yarn and just pull until your stitches are tight together. So that's what we're working with right now. So for the next row we're going to be doing two stitches in each stitch in the first row. So we have six stitches now and we're going to end up with 12. So again we're just doing single crochet. So we now have 12 stitches around and at this point I'm just going to flip my piece over and I'm going to tighten at the end and then I'm going to tie a couple of knots just to hold this in place so it doesn't loosen up. For the third row we're going to end up with 18 stitches. So we're going to do an increase, so two stitches in one stitch and then in the next stitch just one single crochet. So 
this stitch will have two, this will have one, this will have two, this will have one, and so on, until you reach 18. Okay, so that's row number three. And then row number four will be our last increase row. So we're gonna take it up to 24 stitches. So this time we're gonna do one increase and then two stitches with single crochet and repeat that pattern. So first stitch will have two single crochet in it. Second two stitches will each have one single crochet. Okay, so I'm at 24 stitches now. So that does it for the increases. So at this point, I'm gonna do 10 rows each with 24 stitches. So I've done my first two rows and I've got this little dome here. And at this point, because I'm using safety eyes, I have to put them in now. Though if you're just gonna sew on buttons or do some embroidery to make the face, you can do that at the end once you've completed everything. At this point I have finished my 10 rows of 24. Please ignore how weird this looks. We're not going to go there. Um, so now we are going to start on our decrease rows and finish off the body. So to do a decrease we are basically going to do the opposite of what we did for an increase and instead of doing two stitches in one stitch we're going to turn two stitches into one stitch. So you're gonna take your crochet hook and you're gonna go through a stitch, wrap and pull your yarn through, and instead of wrapping again at this point, we're gonna go through the next stitch and then wrap and pull through. So you have three loops on your crochet hook and then we're gonna wrap the yarn and pull all the way through all three of them. So that's your decrease stitch. So you're taking two stitches and turning it into one. So for this row, we're gonna do one decrease and then two single crochet and then repeat. So I've done my decrease. I'm gonna single crochet in this stitch single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to start that over and do another decrease. So again, crochet hook through, wrap your yarn, pull through. You got two loops on your crochet hook. Go through the second stitch, wrap, pull loop through. You got three loops on your crochet hook, wrap and then pull through all three. Okay, and just continue around until we're down from 24 stitches back to 18. Okay, so that's that row done. <clears throat> the next row, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna take it down to 12. So we're gonna do one decrease, one single crochet, one decrease, one single crochet around. So at this point, the body is ready to stuff. So you can use whatever you have. I'm gonna use a fiber fill, but if you don't have that, you can use scraps of fabric or even um, if you wanna cut up strips of old plastic bags, that works too, just whatever you have lying around. Again, please don't think too hard about this. is not meant to be suggestive. <laughs> so you're gonna to wanna to stuff this fairly tightly because you don't want it to be too squishy. You want it to hold its shape. Okay, so I think that'll work. So we're just gonna do one more decrease row and then bind it off and then that'll be the body done. All right, so our last row is going to be taking us down from 12 stitches to six. So we're gonna decrease all the way around. And because this now has stuffing in it, it might be a little bit trickier. Kind of have to 
hold the stuffing out of the way. Okay, so we're down to six stitches, and at this point, I'm gonna leave a bit of a tail and trim off my yarn. So then I'm just gonna slip my yarn for the last stitch here. So just go through one more time, and then instead of doing a wrap and pull through, I'm just gonna pull the stitch right through as well as the end of the yarn, just to hold that in place. And then I'm gonna thread the end of my yarn onto a tapestry needle, and we're gonna go through all of our stitches. So I'm just gonna loop around through each stitch. pull the yarn tight. You don't want to pull too tightly because your yarn might snap, but you want to just close up that hole. And then just a little knot to hold that in place. And then instead of just snipping this off, I'm actually going to stick my needle through and then just come through in a random place. Pull the needle all the way through, pull your yarn tight, and then snip. So this way, even if your knot comes loose, the end of your yarn is inside the project, so it's not going to unravel. So there we have a little piggy loaf. So now we can start making the rest of the pieces to go on him. Okay, so now we're going to make a few different pieces to attach to our little piggy to make him look more pig-like. So um, we're gonna do a snout, we're gonna do two little ears, we're gonna do a little curly tail, and then four legs. So we'll walk you through how to make each of those pieces. Okay, so let's start with the snout. And I'm gonna start this off the same way that I started doing the body. So I'm gonna do a magic circle and single crochet six. And then I'm going to increase in each stitch. So I'll do two single crochet in each single crochet of the previous round. So we'll end up with 12 stitches. Okay, so I've got my 12 stitches. And again, I'm going to flip this over, tighten it up, and then tie a couple of knots. Okay, so at this point, we're going to differ from our original pattern. So we're gonna do single crochet all the way around. So we're gonna still have 12 stitches, but we're only gonna do the single crochet in the back loop. So instead of going through both, we're just gonna take the back loop and do a single crochet through that. So just do that all the way around. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. I'm just going to do a slip stitch. Cut my yarn, leaving a bit of a tail. And then pull that slip stitch through. And then that'll be our little nose. So I'll go on like that. So I'll set that aside for now and then we'll stitch everything on once all the pieces are done. So next up I'm going to do the tail and for that I'm going to start out by chaining seven. So just do a little slip knot and chain is super simple so you just wrap your yarn around the back of your crochet hook, pull through the loop you made, and that's one chain. So we're gonna do six more. And then from here, you're gonna turn. You're gonna skip this last chain that you made, 
and go in through the second one. Wrap your yarn, pull it through, single crochet, and then you're just gonna single crochet through the remaining chains. Okay, and then again, cut that off, just leaving a bit of tail so you can sew it on, and then do a slip stitch. So this piece is going to want to naturally curl, so you can just kind of help it out, get a little spiral, and then that'll be the curly little tail. So next up we'll do the ears. So obviously you're going to want to make two of these. So we're going to do a magic circle to start this off as well, but it's going to be a little bit different. So. Again, I'm going to do a slip here just to hold this together. And then I'm going to do two single crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to do another two single crochet. Oops. And then I'll pull my end tight. And that's it for the ear. So I'm gonna trim that off and do a slip. So the three chains kind of make a little point so it's not just round. So you get a little pointy piggy ear. So I'll make one more of those. Okay, ears are done. And lastly, we just need the legs. So again, we're gonna do magic circle, single crochet six, pull this tight. And then this one, we're actually not gonna increase. We're gonna keep it at six stitches, but we are gonna do what we did for the snout. And we're gonna just do a single crochet in the back loop. Okay, so that's six stitches around just in the back loop. And at this point, I am gonna flip this inside out, tighten up that magic circle and just tie a knot. And you can cut off this end if you want, but I'm just gonna end up tucking it inside the piece anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so at this point we're going to continue doing single crochet, but you're not going to do just the back loop. You're going to go through both of the loops. So we're going to do four rows of six stitches all in single crochet. So we have one little leg done, and then I'll make three more just like that. All of our pieces are now done. I have a whole bunch of little bits here. So all that's left now is to stitch everything together. So let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna start with the nose. So I'll take that and put the rest to the side. So I'm just gonna start by threading the end of my yarn onto my needle. And then I'm gonna attach this starting with the bottom. Go from about here and then what I'm going to do is I'll just run my needle through each stitch around. There we go, focus it. And then go back in through the body in the same hole that the previous yarn has come out of. And just tighten that up and then again through through the next stitch and then through the bottom 
body there. Tighten it up. So just keep going around like that until you get to the end. Um, but you're going to want to leave a couple of stitches open because we're going to need to add a little bit of stuffing to this. And you can just tuck the, the loose bit of thread in there. So once you're most of the way around, you can add in some stuffing. This is a pretty small piece, so you don't need a lot. I like to just use the end of my crochet hook to squish it all in there. That might actually be too much. I already had the end of my yarn in there, so that already took up most of the space. All right, there we go. So, oops, once that's stuffed, you can just finish stitching up the rest of that. And then once you get back to where you started, just pull your yarn tight and then you can make a knot. And then once you had your knot tied, you can just go back in like we did before. Just stab your needle through till it comes out somewhere. Pull through. And then just pull your yarn tight and snip. There we go. And you just kind of push it into shape. And that's our little piggy face. So next I'll do the ears. And I'll thread my yarn onto my needle. And then you want to make sure that they're facing the right way. So the end of your yarn should be on the left and this will be the front. So then you can kind of figure out where you want to position them. I want them to be sort of next to the eye like that, I think. So I'll go in on this line here. Pull your yarn through. And then you can just loop through the ear here, back in through the body. And I'll just tie a knot as usual. And then stab through wherever and snip. And then because the ears have this extra string on them, I'm just going to thread this one on. And you don't really need to do anything with it because the ear is already secured. So I'm just going to, again, stab through the body and pull it out the other side. So then the rest of the pieces you can just attach the same way, uh, just stitch them on, then tie a knot. So let's finish this guy off. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing into the legs. They're very narrow though, so it's a little tricky to get it in there and you really don't need much at all. So when you stitch on the legs, you want to make sure that the front legs aren't right here because the first part of this is kind of like the head so it's just the back part really that's going to be the body so you don't want to start the legs like right under the chin so they're going to be more like there maybe not quite halfway but close to it so piggy's all finished and that is what he looks like so we've got two more animals left to do but it's getting late in the day. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna finish off the last two animals. So I will see you then. Hello, I 
I'm back. So since the body of all of the animals is exactly the same pattern, I've actually gone ahead and done up the next two. So I'll just be walking you through how to do the appendages to finish them off. So next up, I'm going to be doing a black cat. So this one might be a little bit harder to see just because I'm using black yarn, but it's going to be very similar to the pig. So I'm going to be doing the exact same pattern for the ears and the legs. Uh, obviously the cat doesn't need a snout. I've actually put in, as well as safety eyes, I've done a little plastic nose on this guy as well. So no snout and the tail obviously is going to be different as well. So let's get started on this one. All right, so I've got four little feet done two ears and the last thing that needs to be done for the cat is the tail so the pattern for that is going to be pretty close to the feet i'm gonna do the magic circle with six single crochet but instead of doing the first row through back loops only i'm just going to do a regular single crochet and we're going to do six rows of six so magic circle slip Do six single crochet and close the loop. And then I'll actually tie a knot in the back here too, just so the loop doesn't come undone. Okay, and then we're just going to do six rows of six single crochet. So that's our little tail and let's get this thing put together. Okay. Alright. Creepy. Look. Okay. Look. No, you're not interested. Don't really want your butthole right in my face. You look like you. Ears are on, starting to look a little more like a cat. Uh, so I just have to add the legs and the tail. And really, if you wanted to keep it super simple, you could just make a loaf cat and just not make the legs at all. If that's something you wanna do, it might roll around a little bit though, that's the only thing. Okay, so here it is with the tail attached. I actually didn't add any stuffing to this, just to keep it a little more flexible so you can kind of pose it however you want. Very cute, but I am going to add the legs. So those I will stuff just to give it a little more stability. And I'm going to sew them on in about the same place that I did on the pig. Okay, there we go. Black cat is done. Okay, so that is animal number two. And lastly, we're gonna do polar bear. So again, I've already done up the body because it's the exact same pattern as the other two. Just a little sausage. So this one obviously I've done in white and I've attached eyes and a nose. So for appendages for this guy, we need to do two ears a little stubby tail and four legs. So actually all of these pieces are gonna be slightly different from the other two that we did. They're gonna be similar though. So the leg pattern is going to be eight single crochet instead of the six that we did for the other two because polar bears have chunkier legs. And then the ears are gonna be a little bit different as well because polar bears just have little round ears. And then it's also got a little stubby tail, so let's get going on those pieces i'm going to start with the ears and this is going to be super simple so we'll do a magic circle like we did before and then we're going to single crochet four and you're going to tighten up your loop 
snip off the end and slip through your last loop there. And that's it. So it's just a little half circle. Polar bears have tiny ears, so we don't need anything very big. And we're actually gonna make three of these because we're gonna use the same pattern for both the ears and the tail. And then for the legs, again, it's gonna be very similar to the legs that we did for the other two animals. They're just gonna be a little bit chunkier. So with our magic circle, we're gonna single crochet eight rather than six. And same as before, we're just gonna stitch through the back loop for one row and then do four rows, just regular single crochet. So all the pieces that we need for the polar bear are done. So now we just need to stitch them all together. I'm gonna stuff the legs a little bit and then sew everything on. That's our little polar bear, tiny little tail. And then we'll just put on his chunky little legs. All right, there we go. Little polar bear is done. I sewed all of his little legs pretty close together because they're chunkier, so there wasn't as much room. All right, so that is our three animals all done. Okay, polar bear's maybe a little top heavy. Probably could have done his front feet a little farther forward, but there we go. All right, so there you have it. Our three animals are all finished. And because this pattern is so easily adaptable, you are not at all limited to these three animals. You can use this pattern to make pretty much any kind of animal you want just by switching up your color of yarn, uh, adding different ears or tails or legs, that kind of thing. So feel free to let your imagination run wild and make whatever you like. I will have both the basic pattern for the body as well as the patterns for the different parts for these animals that I made in the description down below if you would like to make these for yourself. And if you do make something with this pattern, I would love to see what you made. So please tag me on Instagram. My handle is janelle.makes.stuff. And I'll put that down here just so you can see it visually. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see what projects I'm up to in the future, please give the channel a subscribe. And if you would like to see some of my previous projects, there are some videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.